Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore why silver could be the ultimate investment for beginners in 2024. With rising demand, limited supply, and the backing of financial experts like Robert Kiyosaki, silver is poised to outperform gold and other traditional assets. Whether you're new to investing or looking to diversify, this video will provide you with essential insights on why silver might just be the smartest and most affordable investment right now. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, The Rich Dad Radio Show. I want to thank Peter Kraut for his book, The Great Silver Bull. And again, once again, Rich Dad makes no recommendations. We're pure educational only. And please uh, do your own research on this whole thing. But this here is an ounce of silver. This here is an ounce of gold. It takes about 2,000 of these to buy this. And today, about 35 of these to buy this here. I'd rather have this. This is $35. Everybody in the world can afford $35, no matter what currency they're in. Yet for some reason, as Peter says, people have been conditioned to take toilet paper instead of real money. Silver versus gold. Which is the better investment? Robert Kiyosaki makes a strong case here, highlighting the unique advantages silver holds over gold, especially for newcomers in the investment world. While gold is often seen as the go-to, Silver offers entry-level investors more flexibility and growth potential. But why stop at silver alone? Precious metals in general should be part of a diversified strategy to hedge against market uncertainty. In the next clip, we'll dive deeper into the future of silver and the demand driving its potential surge. The demand is being met from these secondary supplies. And so as long as that can go on, and I think that we may have a year, maybe a couple of years left of that at most, um, that's going to probably keep the silver price relatively level. Now, that doesn't mean, and we've seen it before, you know as much as I do, Robert, we've seen it before when um, there's this FOMO or fear of missing out people will pile into silver <laughs> following gold usually, and it just absolutely explodes and goes crazy. Now we've seen it a few times in the past. Silver does tend to kind of move sideways. And then when this huge fear of missing out comes in and they see gold, let's say 2,500, silver at $35 is gonna look like a one heck of a bargain <laughs> next yeah. to gold at 2,500. So that, that just drives so much investment demand and the silver price right. will spike. Yeah, when the panic hits, you're gonna wish you had bought more of it. Exactly. But I've been buying for so many years, like I said, you know, it was like a dollar something and I still have it. I sure. still have it. Um, how much silver is, you know, the solar is the ESG, like, anyway, the, the green, the green you scam, they call it. Right. What, do you, what is your forecast for solar as far as the consumption of silver? Well, it's, it's become huge. It's unbelievable. In the last um, few years, it's gone from about 100 million ounces. So that's about, say, 10% of all the silver made available every year between mining and recycling. About 10% has gone to The future of silver, demand, supply, and market trends. As you can see, the future of silver is tightly linked to growing industrial demands, especially in tech and clean energy sectors. Combine that with limited supply, and it's easy to see why experts are predicting a silver boom. This brings us to why investing early is critical. If you're wondering where to start, consider reputable companies like Augusta Precious Metals. Augusta offers incredible value and can help you add silver to your portfolio at competitive prices. We'll talk more about Augusta later, but now let's get into why Robert Kiyosaki believes silver is the top investment. Today, we're interviewing Peter Kraut. He is a silver stock investor. He's the author of The Great Silver Bull. I need to say this is we don't recommend people invest in anything. We're purely informational, but I will tell you what I invest in. And since I was a little boy, ever since I held up a US coin, this 1964, and there was a copper tinge around it. And again, that was Gresham's law. That meant the government was messing with our money. It was now fake money in 64. And then 71, President Nixon took gold off of the dollar. It became all fake money. And then everybody went into what's called bonds, treasury bills and bonds. 
And today, the Chinese and Japanese are not buying our bonds because America is now the biggest debtor nation in the world. So we don't make recommendations. We educate people, make up your make your own mind up. But I've been ex excited about interviewing Peter Kraut because I think silver is the biggest bargain on planet Earth, and I have, I really have tons of it. This comes from my silver mine here. It was in Argentina, and we sold it to Yamana. And uh, I've done very well by silver. So all you silver stackers out there, when you can buy a mine, you let me know. You can buy a gold mine, you let me know. But that's called commitment. You know what I mean? I am such a bull on gold and silver for one big reason. I don't trust my government. Why Robert Kiyosaki believes silver is the best investment. Kiyosaki isn't just advocating for silver. He's speaking from experience. His focus on silver as a high potential, low cost investment makes it accessible for beginners. He's always been ahead of the curve, and his advice to start with silver is definitely something worth considering. With Augusta Precious Metals, not only do you have access to silver at great prices, but you also get expert guidance to ensure you make informed decisions. Up next, we'll discuss why silver is still such a bargain, despite its rising demand. I say silver is the biggest bargain I have ever seen. You know, and I'm still buying it, buying it, buying it because it's an industrial metal as well as a precious metal, all the gold is still left in the world, but silver is disappearing. Is that an adequate summary? I completely agree with that. Yeah. So how come the price isn't going up then? Why does it stay flat? Hello, Robert Kiyosaki at the Rich Dad Radio Show, broadcasting from beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, where it's either heaven or hell. And right now it's still heaven. And in a couple of months, it'll be hell. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited about this guest simply because, you know, we've suffered long and hard together. And this is Peter Kraut. That's right. And he's the author of the book, The Great Silver Bull. Is that correct, Peter? It is. That's correct. And I've been a silver nut for I don't know how long because, you know, this here is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. And in 1964, I was 17 years old, and I picked up the half dollar, and I looked at it, and it had copper around it. And I said, what the heck are they doing? So this this is the last of the pure silver American coins. It's the Kennedy half dollar. Today, this 50-cent piece is worth about $12. Okay, so what the, what America did was we violated Gresham's Law. And Gresham's Law is a very important law in the world of money. And Gresham's Law states when fake money enters a system, real money goes into hiding. Why silver is the biggest bargain right now. Silver is the hidden gem that hasn't caught the attention of the masses yet. With all the data pointing towards silver's inevitable rise, now is the best time to get in while it's still affordable. Whether you're just starting or looking to diversify, silver can offer great returns. Later, we'll explain how to easily buy silver through trusted companies. But first, let's explore why prices haven't skyrocketed yet. Well, I'm glad that you asked because, in fact, I've been looking into this very carefully in the last couple of uh, months. And the conclusion I've come to is that there are what we call sec what I call secondary supplies. So you've got um, supplies that come from mining. You've got supplies that come from recycling. And then you've got supplies sitting on the futures exchanges um, and that are and you've also got privately held silver. So I believe what's happening is that and, and the reason I say this is because I've looked at the research and the charts. And if you look at the COMEX, the Shanghai and the LBMA. All wait, 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 Peter, Peter. Be careful using jargon. What does COMEX mean? You're right. So that's the uh, that's the New York futures uh, exchange where you can buy and sell contracts to trade silver with leverage if you want. Now, there's a little bit of silver on the exchange. It's like the, it's, it's like the stock market for our silver. Exactly. That's exactly. Good. So you've got the equivalent in Shanghai and you've got the equivalent in London. And okay. What we've seen is that over the last three years, all three of those have seen. Now, this is just their overall silver holdings have come down by about 30 to 40 percent across the board. If you look at what they have called registered silver, now registered silver at those exchanges is what's available for delivery. 
So the, all of it's not available for delivery, but the registered silver is available for delivery. That's down about 70%. Wait, wait. So what you're saying, there's some silver that's in storage and there's some silver ready for sale. Right. Got, got to keep it simple for the rich dad okay. audience here. <laughs> all right. All right. Be- exactly. So for me, seeing that these inventories have come down so much over the last three years says to me that the big buyers, especially in big industrial users, like you mentioned before, for solar panels, they are buying these contracts and they're waiting for them to mature. And then they're taking delivery because they can't get enough from mining and from have to pay some fees and delivery and, and you know a few things going on around that but but they are entitled to take delivery and so for me to see those inventories being drawn down why silver prices haven't skyrocketed yet silver hasn't seen its explosive moment yet because of a combination of factors like market manipulation and investor focus on gold but that's exactly why it's such a great opportunity as the economic situation shifts silver will likely catch up to and even outperform gold. Now, if you're thinking about adding silver to your portfolio, there's no better way than through Augusta Precious Metals. In fact, you can click the link below to learn more and get started with Augusta today. Absolutely love it. Um, In fact, it's interesting you mentioned India. I mean, I like to kind of mention just quickly that if you look at what's been happening in two other big places, with large populations, Turkey, and Egypt. Turkey has 65% annual inflation. Imports of silver to Turkey have been off the charts. In Egypt, um, it's a tradition to give gold actually to uh, to a newlywed, to the woman, or to give uh, gold for a newborn baby. Well, be- gold's become too expensive in, in Egypt. Yeah. So they're now turning to silver as well. And uh, you know, yeah. you've had the price of silver in the last three years has doubled in Egypt, uh, in, their, in the Egyptian uh, pound. And in Turkey, it's up seven times in the last three years. It's just un- off the charts. The, these countries know real money. <laughs> and that's why they, they, <laughs> they've been through this so many times before and so badly that we should look to them to see how they behave. They, they, uh, they know what they're doing. Why Turkey and Egypt are turning to silver? Host perspective and insight. Conclusion. We're not the only ones seeing the value in silver. As countries like Turkey and Egypt turn to silver, it's clear that silver is on the rise globally. It's never been more important to make sure your portfolio is aligned with future trends, and silver is at the heart of that. Augusta Precious Metals can help you get started in this lucrative market. They offer the best deals on silver, along with expert guidance. Click the link below to secure your financial future with Augusta Precious Metals. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.